What is your writing process? I go through about three major phases with my writing. My first phase is idea generation. So for about four months, I'll just get into this routine where every day, every morning, every night, I'll go and lay on a couch and put a blanket over my head or maybe take a walk or something like that. And then after that, I go through just a two week period where I actually write my manuscript. So I write every word in the book. And then after that, I have about three or four months where I'm drawing all the time. And sometimes while I'm drawing, I think of better ideas for my book and I, I go back and revisit the text. But those are my three big phases. How do you create characters? My characters are kind of a crazy combination of real life people and my imagination and you know things that are going on around me. So I try to take the bits and pieces that I like and then make them into fictional characters. I think Greg Heffley, the main character in my Diary of a Wimpy Kid books, is kind of my worst parts boiled down into one person. Uh, Greg actually, he's not a bad kid, he's just a kid whose life is being recorded at a really awkward time. Um, but you know, I take all the things that I did wrong as a kid and that I do wrong as an adult, and then I put them all into this one character. And hopefully people find him to be funny because he's so imperfect. What was most important for me when I was writing the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books is that they seemed authentic. I wanted people to really believe that the characters were real. A lot of times when adults write for kids or uh, they create kid characters, you can really hear the adult's voice. And I wanted to make sure that my character seemed like it was really realistic. And uh, so he's a very flawed character and you know that comes across in, in, in his voice. What advice do you have for young writers? The best advice I have for a young author or illustrator is to actually start by copying somebody else's style. If there is somebody you like, uh, an author or illustrator, you like their work, what you could do is to try to write another story that's in their style, that's in that same kind of a voice. Because I think that when you do that, you learn how that author or illustrator did what they did. So I, I've seen a lot of kids copying the Diary of a Wimpy Kid style, but I think that kids will branch out after that. They'll say, that's part of my tool set, but I'm gonna go in this direction. So I think that that's a good way to start. Mm -hmm.